Great, so we are online. So warmly welcome to the Nord event discussion covering the Danish Business Angel activity. And together with us, we have the Danish Business Angel Network uh, chairman of the board, Jesper Jalbeck. And then we have the managing director, Sisse Nelson here joining as well. So warmly welcome and really interesting discussing now the activity of the, the, the Danish activity. There's been a lot of boost of, of the, the Danish angel scene, uh, more visibility, and we have some interesting numbers coming up. So looking forward to discuss this with you guys. But maybe we could start before, um, as we have now uh, done a few of these webinars covering this kind of uh, angel activity per country. So, so today we, as mentioned, we have now Copenhagen Business Angels uh, and and Sisse and Jesper now covering the discussion. So maybe a short introduction to start with, uh, Jesper. How is uh, how is this uh, Friday morning and your activity as an angel? Hi, hi, Claes. I thought I I heard you say Copenhagen Business Angels and not Danish Business Angels. So as sorry, you know, no, all all have it. Changed our name three years ago, but it's. It's quite sticky, the old name, but, but we are Danish business angels. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, okay. So um, a few words about myself. I uh, had a career inside consultancy uh, for 32 years. And then in 2006, um, I decided to switch to a different role. And part of those activities was in investing in uh, startup companies. And I have invested in I think 30 plus companies. I've had uh, three very good exits. I've had, I don't know, five or 10 failures and the rest are in process. Um, I am the chair of Danish Business Angels. Uh, I have been the chair since we formed Danish Business Angels in 2011, uh, which was formed by the merger of two existing networks. And uh, they were merged and uh, called um, a Business Angels Copenhagen. Uh, part of what we do is, is advocacy, i.e. trying to get the politicians to enact a, a, a less uh, problematic investor regulation. And some people told us it would be very good if we were uh, presenting ourselves as nationwide and uh, not regional. So we changed the name. We didn't want to upset our friends outside Copenhagen, so we gave them the opportunity to, to come on board as associated networks at uh, kind of giveaway prices. Um, as it turned out, uh, the, the, the networks outside Copenhagen, or at least two of them based in Aarhus, were really in a, in, in a downward spiral. So they came last autumn and asked if they could merge with us, and which they did. And uh, we now have a secretariat of uh, three people, and actually two of which, including Caesar, are located in Aarhus, so we have, which is our second city. So we have really made um, a dedicated effort to try and get the angel investment scene um, spread out across the country and uh, particularly in Aarhus where we're looking to get 50 members before the end of, of the year. So that's in, in, in a nutshell, uh, we were I think 135 members end of last year and we're currently targeting 170. So we see very good uh, progression and not just in uh, quantity but also in uh, quality. And similarly, uh, we now see venture funds, which is completely new for us, coming to ask if they can become our partners and, and, and the Danish Growth Fund. And these are people where we knocked on the door six or seven years ago and they were not interested. And, and now I think the network has a stature where basically a, a lot of people do want to play with us. So we're in a very positive spiral, but I, you know, I have lived through several ups and downs and it's now 10 years since Lehman so I know there will be a correction and we're thinking about you know how do we winter the next you know, uh, storm because there will be an, an, another storm but right now with the low interest rates you know people are looking for alternative investments so therefore we are favored by the current economic climate uh, yeah. Very good. Okay, but but that's a great news, and I mentioned that the, now you cover like on the Danish level, like ecosystem is the current trend as well. To as as angel investing is, is typically very local, but now it's it's uh, it it needs to cover as, as especially in the Nordics, it's quite small countries, but so there is a national interest of 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 build 
boosting together in that sense. So great activity and, and now like uh, closely to 200 visible angels. And if you mentioned as before, since getting into details, the, the requirements are, are semi-high. So you have to have a, was it half a million uh, euros investment? 400,000. 400,000 to um, even. Um, a dedicated to investing in this space. So we say, we don't care if your personal wealth is a half a million, I mean euros or 500 million euros, that doesn't matter but you have to dedicate this amount to invest because we want to make sure when we hold pitch events, as we say, that there's money on the table. So if, if they're good enough, these startups, uh, then they can count on there will be in investors. So that's why we have this requirement. Uh, yeah. Very good. Okay. Well, we're, maybe, uh, Sissi, if you could, at, at this stage, take a short introduction of yourself, and, and we'll do this kind of a more detail of, of Danban services in the end, as Jesper might have to leave to the board yeah. meeting at some point. But Sissi, uh, how is it with the four hours of sleep and traveling? <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Sissi, uh, Managing Director of Danban slash Head of Operations. You know the drill. Um, Currently working a lot with the NAP project, uh, also uh, coordinating with the, all the bands on that one. And my background is primarily in the, the startup community, so it's really exciting to work on the other side with the, the investors, uh, making a difference uh, for the startups. Uh, yeah, very so good. that was me very shortly. Very good. And, and NAP, as you mentioned, that's the Nordic Angel program where we can, that service is inspiring cross-border investment. So we can take that as a, at a later stage as well. So maybe, maybe Jesper, if, if you now open up a little bit of the, you see the, the big picture of the Danish angel investing scene and the startup community. So for an outsider not knowing Denmark that well, how would you describe yeah. now the current ecosystem of startups? Is there, what are the role models? What is the activity? Maybe some of what's the position for angels currently in the ecosystem? Yeah, I think there are many trends happening right now. And maybe it's because we are at, at the end of an up cycle. Uh, but I, just to mention a few, for example, corporate venturing. You know, uh, there's a lot of Danish corporates who uh, uh, fear they may be, be, I mean, disrupted. So they're looking to get innovative and they fear they can't do it themselves. So they're establishing co-working spaces and they're hosting them to kind of rub up against the uh, startups. Uh, so, so that's one thing. There's a lot of corporate uh, venturing, which I mean, may be good for us uh, if, if we are clever about it. Uh, the abundance of co-working spaces. You know, uh, 10 or 12 years ago when I started, you know, there basically were no co-working spaces except for, I mean, Regus. In Copenhagen now, I don't know if there are 50 co-working spaces. You know, so it's uh, completely crazy. A uh, third item you could say is that there was a uh, concerted effort two or three years ago to see if Copenhagen could be placed on the FinTech map. And uh, there was a study done and a big meeting in the town hall. And now we have Copenhagen for FinTech, which actually is starting to get a presence on the European level. We will never be a first division player. We may not even be a, third di a second division player, but we can maybe be the top of the third division or doing something like that. So that's also a quite good. Um, I think these are three of the, of, of, of the trends. And we see, as I said, an ever-increasing number of people wanting to become angels. We now have a, um, an electronic medium, I mean, bootstrapping, it's called, which uh, is published I mean, weekly. And uh, so therefore, the first time we have a dedicated medium, which appears to be having some success talking about what's happening in this uh, space. We have accelerators all across the country, all across the town. And as our calendar shows, you know, we are spoiled for choice in terms of pitch events. We, we do uh, monthly pitch events in Copenhagen. We are, our ambition is to match that schedule in August too. So we have two sets of events happening. But apart from that, there are, you know, uh, the, uh, I mean, the universities, technical high school, commercial high school, etc. There's such a lot of pitch events happening. So you could spend certainly every week, if not every day, you can be going to pitch events. Uh, so, so the the um, our, one of our questions is, you know, um, uh, how do we curate that? How, can we help our members not to get totally confused? Uh, so we provide some quality assurance. Um, 
But the, the next thing I could say is that by virtue of the journey which I mean, we are on, uh, if you are a, a new member, your induction into this world is a lot safer than it was five or ten years ago. So we have you know, our, our homemade induction course, we have the Nordic Angel program, etc. And the very nice thing about that program, we are just going to start the second program, is there's a nice mixture of a completely new angels, people who actually apply for membership uh, because they wanted to get into the NAP, and old angels. And this means we are forming, if you like, networks of 20 or 25 people who went through this school. And so, you know, one of the main ideas of our network has always been to promote syndicates. And we see syndicates and joint investments happening all the time now. And the NAP program will strengthen that even more and will provide a very safe kind of route for an unexperienced investor to come on board together with very experienced investors. So I think the NAP pro program is, is a wonderful thing. And uh, for the first time, you know, uh, uh, we have received some e EU money and it actually appears to be doing a lot of good. So I'm very happy about that. You know, I, I think it's a, success story we can talk back to, to i mean brussels and say thank you very much this actually was uh, very helpful right. um so the whole scene right now both at business angels and um a venture uh, funds is a very vibrant but i guess it's the same across most of i mean europe we really see a lot of activity yeah Okay, you, you mentioned like like if there is the as you mentioned too like the corporate venturing and and then the co working spaces and then the the role of this Nordic Angel program as an example what uh, Danban is now active with which is mainly educating investors as well and that's something is easily forgotten that, that the ecosystem of startups they they mainly focus on 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 building the startups and, and and educating them and then eventually matching them with investors but the mind is is that they are professional vcs but angels typically as as they are individuals with a background in entrepreneurship corporation but they also need that kind of education so that seems like the angel networks and in the form of danban and, and these nordic angel programs is is offering very well yes. uh, and uh, would you mention like like just the ecosystem lastly on that? Uh, so the corporate ventures is how about the M&A, these acquisitions? Is there good angel exits in that form? And if you mention that there are a lot of co-working spaces, that must mean that there are a lot of startups available in the ecosystem. As you know, we do an annual survey and one of the perhaps uh, special characteristics of our network is that it is not a voluntary to participate in the survey. So it's not a survey, it's a complete record and we've done that for the last four years, and we've had about 140 exits in uh, those four years. And that's including you know, a, a, a large number of total write-offs. And for those four years consistently, where we have around uh, 25 to 35 exits, we have shown money back multiples of in, in, in the region of three. And if you look at the Danish venture sector, who are now in their fourth generation, uh, they have never managed as a sector to produce a three times money back multiple. So when it's when it's not a survey, when it's all of our members, when it includes the write-offs and we can say we have a money back multiple of three, then we have proof that we are as capable of being investors as the private equity funds or, or the venture funds. And I think publishing it and the methodology uh, and talking about it has meant, I think that's part of the reason why we now have the respect of the other players. Because 10 years ago, it was completely untransparent. You know, who are the angels? What are they doing? You know, and if you only do surveys, then people will say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you took the good ones and you forgot about the bad ones, you know. So I think this has been a very determined effort to build up a case saying, you know, uh, we are good investors. We're not fools. Uh, and yes, it's high risk, so yes, there will be crashes. If you talk about exits, I think the most well-known exit, we don't have too many unicorns in Denmark, uh, but you know, two years ago we had Sitecore, which was sold to EQT for 1 billion euros, sold to them for 1 billion euros, and Steve Hullady, who was on the board of Dan Van, uh, he, he was uh, the chairman of Sitecore for 16 years. So that's, that's, uh, that's something which has, if you like, an international perspective. But apart from that, we have a lot of uh, successful angels. I would say there's one group of people whom we don't really attract, and these are some of the 
macho entrepreneurs who do the good exits. They don't need anyone. They don't need the network or whatever. So they ride on. But everybody else who's human and who likes company, they join them then. Very good. But it, it's, it's a crucial part. And, and as, as uh, some activity examples of, of the Finnish ecosystem, it's quite a lot of angel is, is part of giving back to the ecosystem as well. Nobody yes. needs to make angel investments. It's not required and, and it's really risky. So in that sense, it's like a patriotic way, giving back, having the CV full. And this is the best way to create jobs and, and so on. So this kind of a, these super individuals, of course, it's a plays an important role of, of, of uh, yeah, inspiring the ecosystem, but this kind of a group activity as Danban is having, is, it seems to play a crucial role. So w- before we go into the interesting statistics, which Sisse will cover, uh, how would you describe what is the typical way of angel investing? Because we had a lot of discussion of, of for example, the, the investment type and, and how, is it equity based or convertible loans? Is it individual investment or group investments? Yeah. How would you describe, what do you typically see uh, in the Danish ecosystem for angel okay, So. Uh, it is, oh, I mean, by, by far the, the, the largest amount of in investments is straight equity. Yeah, okay. And we have had lots of, of lectures from experts, both from the States and uh, here in, I mean, Denmark, talking about convertible loan notes and safe agreements, etc. And I think you might be able to find instances of that, but you know, I would say 90% plus is straight equity. Uh, and uh, I think we are not very sophisticated in terms of the equity structure. We basically believe a share is a share and everyone is a partner. So one of the pet pet hates is this thing about liquidation rights where suddenly people who were partners no longer are sharing in the proceeds on exits and stuff. So we like to do it simple. We like to do it straight and that's the way it kind of works. Um, We are getting, I think, very, very good at these small syndicates. Uh, and I'm sure that um, with our new technology from our Estonian friends, I think that will accelerate e- even more. And Sisa can maybe talk a bit about that. But there was a pitch event in Aarhus on the Wednesday. And I'm sure that the, the technology we have there, and also what we did on Wednesday for the first time was we, I mean, live streamed the event. So if you didn't have time to come to the pitch event, you can watch. And uh, I think there were expressions of interest from people who weren't actually in the room. And I foresee that we will do a lot more to try and engage the members uh, through through the media with solutions like that, because I think mm. easier we can make it to get on board, uh, the more we'll get on board. And without being uh, kind of rude, but what you want to do is to create a kind of lemming effect. And so if you can see all the others heading over there to invest, then you rush over there to invest too. So it's all about making the activity visible. Um, Yeah. So I think that, uh, again, uh, uh, by far the most investments are made in consortia uh, from three to four on the one hand and up to 20. And again, uh, we're a civilized bunch. So the consortia I have heard about and seen, it's very rare that we hear about conflicts inside the consortia. So, you know, we have an investment agreement and we have the corporate law and that's why maybe we like the equity because then you do have the safeguarding of, of the corporate law. So things are pretty well regulated and people behave themselves. But one thing I forgot to mention is we have a code of ethics, so which people are asked to sign on to when, when they join Danban because we say we don't sign NDAs, but we're honorable people and we don't steal your ideas and we don't misbehave. And, uh, And so that's another thing. We're very careful on screening who joins. So if you have a good club and you make sure you don't admit any um, delinquents, then you keep the good atmosphere and then you keep the the trust and then you do investments together and it it, it works out. Uh, So that's a kind of virtuous circle. And what we always have concentrated on, and then I think I may finish and talk too much, is that we have done um, study trips abroad which was part, obviously to look at other ecosystems, but mostly it was about building trust between the members. And so, you know, we've said our whole purpose is, is not some number of transactions or some amount of investments. Our whole purpose is to make sure our, our members, they know each other, they trust each other, because if they do that, everything else will follow from that. So that's all we focus on is how do we get our members engaged and working with each other? That's it. 
Very good. Okay. Well, well that, that's so it seems like there are more standards and processes in the form of, for, for example, those international investors wanting to find more from the, the Danish ecosystem. And I, I assume the, the templates for, so, so more standard making more, the, the investing part is getting more easy and you can actually focus on the growth and, and, and development of the company. So that, that's uh, and, and building that trust. So good. So uh, if now, uh, lastly, before you have to leave, there's yep. uh, the large startup event, Tech Barbecue, coming in, up in Copenhagen in the end of, of September. Uh, who would be the angels and so on? Who would you recommend to, to try to find out and, and catch up with uh, locally? <laughs> this is not because I want to switch off, but I actually think CISA is much better at answering that. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's I, I, I will leave you now. Okay, very good. So that was a diplomatic choice in that sense. So thank you so much for joining and, and let's uh, keep in touch and, and def definitely update more from the Danish ecosystem. Okay. Bye -bye. Have a good day as well. Thank you. Very good. Thank All right. So maybe Sissi, if we could continue with you and, and uh, as, as mentioned by Jesper, we could dig into some of the numbers and statistics. So if you feel like you want to share your, your screen, that would be all good. Uh, okay. And then again, there's some, here we go. At least we can see it now. And can you see it? Yes, we can see a desktop. Good. And just go into some of those numbers and, and maybe so if we could cover some of the numbers as you've been as Jesper mentions the, the investment profitability and, and then again uh, services uh, provided by example Danban and how you see the, the Danish angel ecosystem develop. Yeah. Sure. So this, uh, these uh, first slides, I think uh, Jesper covered that pretty much. Um, also, as he mentioned, uh, a lot of growth in the, in the members in, in Danban over the few years, but I guess we all experienced this uh, uh, throughout the bands. Just a, a small note. So uh, we still see your desktop. So I'm sure, uh, are you showing, uh, do you have the presentation up and running already? Or? Yes. Okay, I think you should just click on the, the, the share button and just click desktop or, or then you just uh, choose which program you use to, to share that specific. Yeah, now we got it. Can you see it now? Yeah, now it's on. Perfect. Okay, great. So uh, let me know if there is any numbers you want to, me to, uh, to, to go into details with. Yeah. But as uh, Jesper mentioned, every uh, time we get a new member, uh, they also accept to be part of our annual survey, so we always get a 100% response rate. So we also get the, the bad stories as well as the successful ones. Very so, yeah, so the last uh, time we did the annual survey, we, we were 132 angels, and now we are 170. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, the number of companies that was uh, founded in 2017 was 384. Um, was that founded or invested? Sorry? Uh, you said founded, but you mean, uh, was it number of companies? Funded, yeah. Funded, funded, sorry. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And what would be mostly interesting here is at least also this number uh, around 260,000 euros invested in 2017. Um, as you can see, it's, it's growing every year. Also, uh, uh, very natural to the, to the number of angels that we have uh, and also the good times we have in, in the economy. Very good. And euros, that is approximately 24, 24 million euros, something like that. Uh, on uh, 191, yeah, something like that. So uh, above 20 million euros. Yeah, uh, yes, exactly. Very good. Number of, uh, of exits and as uh, Jesper also uh, shortly mentioned is that we are trying to do an uh, IRR uh, on our members so we can track which of the exits was done uh, over uh, a period of time. Yeah, so the profitability analysis of exactly. internal rate of return, great. And do you know of these 43, how many of those were positive and which were negative exits? No, we don't know. That's uh, what we want to dig into at least uh, this, this fall. Very good. All right. Uh, yeah. I think I will go like to here. I, I think this is also from the other webinars. Uh, all the bands are very much alike where we uh, 
we put uh, our money uh, in the Def Valley stage and 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 at least uh, also some of the the startups get our angels in the second round, which is really awesome as well. Um, sector wise, uh, the SaaS and the IT sector is of course really really big as it is in other countries as well and we also see uh, that at least impact and food is is growing a bit uh, as well not yet in the statistics but um, it i think it's really gonna show next year okay great yeah and as you can see also i spoke uh, yesterday with iban that uh, with some of the startups which uh, mentioned that uh, Danish business angels are really good at investing only in Denmark. Uh, you can see some of it are happening in the, the Nordics and the, the EU, but outside of EU, we don't have that much activity. So uh, with the NAP program, we really hope to uh, get the angels to see what cross-border can do uh, for their investments, especially the, the second round. So uh, we just had uh, Thomas joining the Angel Camp in uh, es Estonia and he called me uh, the day after and mentioned, Sisa, now I understand this cross border thing that you have been talking so much about uh, because we have a startup right now and we need uh, to look into the Norwegian market and we don't know nothing about this. So he got some context, which was really cool. So now he can spread the word why this is so important very good and, and thomas uh, black peterson so he, uh, he was the lead investor of the previous snap uh, nordic angel program you had by by danban and uh, yeah that was uh, was it it was 235000 euros invested in a uh, in the winner company analyzed and screened during a three month program so exactly okay so that definitely so there's possibility i assume thomas is joining the next snaps as well so if uh, interest in cross border investing that can be linked through you, uh, Danban yeah. or, or the NAP program. Great. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, the statistics. Is there any numbers you want me to explain or are we good on this? I think we could maybe just go into some of the, the, the highlights of the, the, the key individuals of angels, like a typical profile of angels, if you could just highlight those, as Jesper mentioned, and then maybe secondly, just what are the main services for, from the Danban point of view, and, and where is angel activity in Denmark going next? Yeah, okay. So, so who are the key individuals that, 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 that outside Denmark should follow? Well, there are, so you want specifically names, right? Or, sure, sure. Uh, just just giving more 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 to bite on. Yeah, so uh, I will start with saying that the typical Denban member there are three categories. They are the the entrepreneur that made an exit, um, uh, that is now trying to to find where to spend the time and and money, and then we have secondly uh, family money, uh, where the younger generation are willing to do more. Uh, uh, investments in, in, in startups and, and risk, risky investments. Uh, and then thirdly, uh, directors from bigger companies that are now uh, looking into either board work or in investment work. So these are the, the three categories, but very specifically, I think uh, a lot of them uh, is actually joining this NAP program and you will be able to see them under denban.org uh, and go to the NAP. So we have uh, Steen Wolf Jensen, who is really uh, active in the Danban network, and a lot also know Peter Sandberg. And uh, last new part, all of those three you can meet in the panel uh, at the, the Get in the Ring at Tick Barbecue, the 24th and 25th of September. So these three are very active. Uh, also, yeah, you. Uh, we just met Jesper, who's also active. Espen, the board, uh, the chairman of uh, Nordic Band, also uh, a person and an angel with with a lot, um, a lot of visibility and a lot of uh, good point of views of how to be yeah. an angel investor. Thank and you. then I will uh, say, Espen Kastor. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then Christian Jensen, the the youngest uh, VC, we have also uh, really. Uh, 
really some uh, great point of views so of how to angel invest. Very good. And, and maybe now, now we get, to, uh, if you could show the slide just quickly about the number of investments as we, we saw that the total number was about 20 million euro invested by the more or less 135 uh, Danban investors. So how was on the individual level? Do you have those numbers? What is the average slash medium investment per, per angels? What, what kind of tickets do we see? Let me mid- just see in uh, euros really quick. Um, it's more, more or less, do we have that? That's not on this slide. It's, it's uh, yeah, yeah, around, oh, it's here. Number of companies, sorry. Okay, good. So, okay, so average investment per company. So that's about that's per active uh, angel. It's uh, 1.8 million. Yeah, so uh, above 200,000 euros. That's uh, exactly. Uh, uh, so that's uh, per an active individual, not a group, that's individual angel. Itself. That's individual angels. And as you can see in the last slide here, uh, we have like the percentage of uh, which are really active. So it's these 12.9% that has like a lot of uh, activity and we have 144 which haven't even invested anything yet. Okay, very good. So, so that, so uh, maybe so co in in full and that's a 14 plus okay yeah so that, that it seems but it seems like it's really interesting to follow this number in the future and okay and maybe maybe to to finalize just like for those international angels now interested in the danish angel ecosystem and the role of danban so you, you have some of the local services how should uh, international investors uh, uh, yeah what would what you offer Okay, so for the the current members right now, we uh, offer a network and as uh, the board talked a lot about is that we also uh, help uh, these uh, angel investors find their identity again. Um, These, this is uh, something uh, all of the board has has mentioned when they um, either uh, quit their job or did the exit, it was like, what now? So Danban is, uh, or at least any band network is really good at f- like a place to find your identity. If, if you are not an entrepreneur or working, then, then what are you? So this, this is at least something we, we hear a lot. Um, then there is uh, matchmaking of angels and startups. We do the study trips and very, uh, we try to curate uh, and help the investors find the most relevant events. There is in Denmark and uh, internationally. Also uh, education with the NAP program and then uh, cross-border opportunities, mostly uh, through Nordic Bank. Very good. All right. So, so it seems like and, and, uh, the requirements to join in, that, as uh, there was about 400,000. So that's, I guess, uh, the applications is, is done through the board and approved. And, and uh, the process goes, I guess, the, the website includes the details or just the exactly. interview. Okay. Exactly. All right. Uh, so, so from that sense, it seems like uh, the angel level now, the, the numbers you've mapped so far, so a, a bit over 20 million uh, euros invested in, on the, the angel level in Denmark. And of course, that's just the fraction, the visible part. And, and those key individuals, as you mentioned, those entrepreneurs, more or less in or are not involved in, in networks, they, they play a crucial part as well. Mm. So, okay, good. And, and uh, so you said that Tech Barbecue is now coming up and, and you will be present there with angel activities. And as Tech Barbecue is also focusing on investor services and angels. So it's a good event to, to hop in and ha- have a look on and get in the ring concept. You mentioned that's something covering the, yeah. this kind of a group investing. So w- what is getting the ring concept? Uh, Get in the Ring is a a concept that is very new to us and it's a a global concept that we are trying out for the first time or at least collaborating with. So um, it will be both days and hour. Um, We will have at least eight startups where they present in rounds. So the first round could be, okay, what problem are you uh, solving? And then uh, like in a, a fighting game, the, the ring, uh, 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 sorry, um, the next round will be uh, ringed in. And then, uh, then it's the funding round and then uh, the team round and, and so forth. And then we have uh, by the end, a panel who will uh, give them a, a score uh, of how well they did. 
Okay, but so it's 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 like a pitching event, but it's more descriptive in that sense, like like helping out. So it's more, 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 uh, more, more bowling back and forth to, with the it's, with the thoughts. Exactly. So it's it's a, also the concept is 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 a fun setup because it's in a boxing ring and a little bit else is is going on. So it's yeah. a little uh, adjustments here and there to to a normal pitch event. Okay. Okay, so it's it's a it's an entertaining show in that sense. As a good yeah. pitch is, it's it pitch itself is it's a it's a um, it's not maybe the best way to get investors. Of course, one on one meetings is the the one how to to be matched. Yeah. But it's a good show and entertaining, and it gives a little fun twist to the the whole matching process. All right, good. We we uh, Anu mentioned here that that uh, she would like to know the the, the what are the current uh, angel networks and groups you know of in the in Denmark currently, and as we have some numbers, we. As mentioned, maybe we will publish this kind of a uh, Danish startup ecosystem for business angels map, which we just uh, is preparing the final version. But it's going to be found on nordicvan.net slash Denmark. It's uh, not published today, the, the 7th of September, but I assume within a few days we will have that public. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and there you can find the main channels of networks and, and groups available. Yeah. For example, Cover the Grow and, and, and so on. Small. What, what would you other groups and networks would you mention? Well, it, Denban is the biggest one, but we have the smaller VC groups who are also investing in, in kind of the same stage as the business angels. And they're called the Nordic Eye, Nordic Makers and By Founders, uh, which are uh, free groups, uh, but they are more or less active as business angels, I would say. So these are very uh, also uh, good to look into. Very good. Okay, and as I just linked in the chat, the, the nordicband.net slash networks, that's covering all the 25, 26 visible angel networks and groups in the Nordic Baltic level. So it's also covering the Danish activity. But for example, uh, last year at Tech Barbecue by Founders Group was founded as well as, as an angel level group of investors, uh, a light model, but then again, uh, doing a lot of investments as well. well how, is it, uh, how is by Founders uh, seen in the ecosystem today? Uh, how they are seen? Yeah, yeah. What, what's the activity and, and ha, have they done more more investments? Um, my my uh, my sense is that uh, they they just started last year uh, early on, but they are really getting into speed on, on investing. But uh, they are also uh, choosing very carefully what to to invest in. But I see that they choose them actually from a very early early stage, which is very. Uh, and typically for VCs. Very good. Okay, good. All right. So, so let's cover more of that information for for the future information and, and uh, describe mapping the the Danish ecosystem as well. So this is a teaser discussion for that. Any any questions? Uh, we have uh, Anu and Christine on board. So if you feel like you want to ask something, feel free to hop on. Or would there be something to be described before we wrap it up? Um, only uh, what we are uh, thinking about for the the future. Now you mentioned what it's. Uh, how about international angels? The cross border. Could you be a member if you are coming from Germany, uh, or at least some time of the, the month? But we are working a lot of being more international, meaning that we will shift language when we have the big events so we can live stream uh, and also get the startups presented to a bigger audience. Uh, yeah, as and you can see on the screen, we are working on uh, some different, uh, different initiatives to, uh, to make the network more valuable and more professional. Very good. Okay, and and uh, this reminds me of, of your your annual meeting, which you have in the the Danish Business Angel Summit, uh, that's been held in uh, in Odense. Uh, and it, last spring, you gathered over two hundred business angels from Denmark to Odense. Yeah. So, is that something available for international investors to join as well? How does it work? Well, I'm I'm happy that you asked because uh, we are actually right now talking about uh, moving that event um, closer to Take Barbecue. So as Lush or Arctic 15, we have an investor day uh, before or after the event uh, because at Take Barbecue, you already have the VCs and the international business angels. So we are trying to to lean up against that so we uh, we can attract more more of these people uh, so this is uh, an idea for for next year 
Very good. Okay. And uh, so, so there's a teaser investor day during uh, the day after Tech Barbecue on Wednesday at 26. So, so that's for those investors joining on. The price, I guess, was for Angel Secret was 79 euros. So uh, quite a good package for two and a half day of, of startup ecosystem mapping in, in Denmark. Yeah. Great. Uh, thank you so much. If, is there any additional comments, questions? Seems like we are all covered. So thank you much, so much for this chat. And uh, sis, I wish you a good day, uh, though the four hours of, of sleeping. And, and uh, we'll hear more of the Danish angel ecosystem soon again. So thank you so much once again. And, and we'll package the recording now. Thank you.